Hey everybody, it's Kim the Crafty Nomad, and I am back with uh, episode number five of Square It Up Saturday. And you guys know this is the um, segment where I actually, or the series, where we talk about all of my uh, modular blankets. It, it is uh, my blankets that are made up of smaller parts that will eventually be sewn together and um, to make a blanket. So we're just talking about the squares that I'm making and eventually they will all be blankets. And right now I have three that I'm actually consistently working on. I have another one that I plan to pull out um, for um, my wrap session Wednesdays once I finish that project over there. And speaking of that, I do a series uh, every Wednesday called Wednesday Wrap Sessions. And in that one, I am actually going over, uh, I'm sharing with you a long languishing whip that I am pulled out and I am focused on to get it done for this first quarter of the year. I'm trying to get it done in the first quarter of the year and it is in um conjunction with my make along that i am hosting with christy from crochet creations by christy and our show uh that we do together hook and stitch live with kim and chris and so we have a make along going on um uh, for the first quarter of the year and it's called the it's a wrap mal and it is where you drag out all those old and languishing whips and really focus on getting some things finished and I will again link her down below because there are some great things going on over there on her Facebook page and um, you can see and get inspired by all the people who are finishing up some beautiful stuff. So that's one thing I'm doing. I also do uh, Talk uh, talk With Me Tuesdays where I am a part of a group of women called, uh, we call it Crafting with Friends and we are putting out a video, uh, a different creator every day of the week. Um, Sunday through Saturday, and uh, yeah, so that uh, group will be linked in the description box below so that you can also check it out, and if you are a creator and you want to be a part of that, you can also contact Kim from Come Craft with, Come, wait, I think it's Come Craft with Sissy, <laughs> anyway, she'll be linked down below, and um, if you want to be a part of that but the ladies are putting up their videos and showing their projects and we are a diverse group of crafters so check that out as well and then finally sundays i do sunday shenanigans where i uh show you everything else that i've been working on and i definitely have some things to show you guys tomorrow um in the meantime let's get going with uh this squared up saturday so uh it's february and you guys know i am doing a memory blanket that was created by excuse me, Luli's Crochet. I think her name is Alyssa, but Luli's Crochet will be linked down below. This is a, a project that she did last year, and then this year she has shared the pattern with any some of us who want to do it. So I will show you my January square just to remind you uh, what that square looks like. And this is it. And this whole blanket is going to be black and white. That's the first square. And then the February square <laughs> is uh, this one. And it came out really cute. And I don't know. Uh, I think I've done something wrong, though, because this one is coming out much shorter. Now, here's what I think the problem is. Uh, I could have gone back and just put another row of white, and it would probably be just fine. But I think what I'm going to do is go back around with another round of single crochet border. Or I'm going to block it and make it fit. But seriously, it's shorter than the other one by about two rows. So let me show you. You can see that, right? So I think what happened is... Uh, I did the first square with a different hook and then I found my furrows hook and I wanted to use that one so this one was done with the furrows and I don't know if it's that my tension is tighter on the using the furrows hook but I think that might have been the problem um, so at any rate before I do anything to this square I'm going to make another one with the furrows hook I'm gonna make the March one and just see if I get it, which size it is uh, closest to, the first one or the second one. So, anyway, I got my February square done, and this one is going to be a year-long project. I'm trying to do, like, one square a month, and then at the end of the year, 
put it all together as a memory blanket. And as you know, I'm writing down, uh, as I finish them, I take a picture of it. And then I'm going to put that picture in my trusty, dusty notebook and write about whatever's going on right now as I have finished this square. And then at the end of the year, I have this whole memory going. So all the squares are going to be black and white. Red Heart Super Saver in the color black and the color white. That's that one. So progress there. My second uh, blanket that I'm working on is my Christmas blanket. And I'm keeping it here. The, um, this blanket doesn't really have a project bag. Uh, I have, I'm using the yarn holder, which I didn't bring over here. And I have one spool of white and one spool of black on there. And, um, but I keep all of the black and white yarn in a BTS backpack. So, <laughs> I should have showed it to you, but that's where all the yarn is. Anyway, it doesn't have its own project bag. I just kind of throw it in with some of the other things. All right, so now onto the Christmas blanket. Just a little bit of progress on the Christmas blanket. I had, I, I believe I had eight of them the last time we met, or seven, and I think I just did one more. Yeah, we had uh, four solid color uh, squares. And then we had uh, we had these three of the trees. We had one cranberry and two greens. And now I have one additional green, and I left I left that undone on purpose so I would know which one to show you as the progress one. So that's it for that. And they're coming out about the same size. I'm using. The same hook, I'm, I'm still using that quilted bear hook uh, in the, this is an H, a five millimeter hook. And I'm using the Hershner's Worsted 8 in Dark Moss, Cranberry, and Sandstone. So that's how much of each I have left except the Cranberry. There's more because there's a square that needs to be uh, undone and reused. Uh, for this project so that's that so that's coming along and still so far all of the squares fit in the bag and the goal for these is to get to 30 um and i am trying to do three of these a month which is why i didn't really push myself to get uh more than just one done this week because i'm ahead of the game Three a month would be six, three last month and three this month. And I'm already at eight, so I'm ahead of the game. But I'm going to keep going. You'll see at least one every week that I have uh, done, maybe more. Maybe I'll get done sooner. And then I'll have, because what I, I'm hoping is that I will have it done sometime around October, all the squares, and then I can have it for this coming Christmas as uh, some holiday decor. So that's that for that one. I'm going to put it all back in this bag, and it fits nicely in the bag. So that's the Christmas one. And then the final one is the blanket that I'm making for Jordan, which is being held in this giant bag because it's being made out of blanket yarn. So you guys, I, I hauled... Uh, uh, I think it was called uh, the Bernat Blanket Confetti. And uh, I showed you guys that one. And I decided that I would do, uh, let me see. Yeah, it was the Blanket Yarn Confetti. And I decided for this one, it's the same color as the gray, but it has like uh, Tweety Bits in it. And I decided that I would do some solid squares to add into the blanket. And um, this one, it was the colorway Vapor Confetti, Confetti. And the color, the gray colorway that I'm using in the blanket is called Vapor Gray. So let me show you. I wanted to show you what you actually get out of one full uh, hank of that, which I didn't bring one over here, but it's basically this. Right, it's this size. Did I bring one? I'm surprised at myself. No, I did bring one. So here it is. I bought two of these for $4.99 at Michael's last week. 
and um, I decided that I would try to see how many squares I could get out of one. So let me show you how many I did get out. I got one. And you see how nice that confetti looks? I love a good tweet. I've got two out of it. And I thought I had, yeah, I did. And I got three out of it. So that's three full squares. I look like I wove in the ends on all but one. <laughs> So three full squares plus I had enough to get a center out of the rest. And then there is this much left of the ball. So basically you can get three full squares plus a center of the circular square, granny square out of one ball of that Bernat blanket confetti. Now, what's interesting, let's find out. The confetti, let's see if it has the same amount of uh, yardage as the others. 90% polyester, 10% nylon on this one. It's a 10.5 ounce ball, and you get 176 yards in that. Now let's check this one. These ones are 100% polyester, so I guess the nylon is going to be the, the Tweety bits in here. And then you get 220 yards in this one. So you actually are getting less yardage in the confetti. Let me see if I have, okay, so here's a solid and you get 220 yards. So in the confetti, you actually are getting less yardage. So, but in the confetti, so you you can get a full three squares plus this, and which means that you could probably get maybe four squares out of one ball. I might try that next time. Just go through a whole. Um, it's hard to do that though because all the rest of them have two colors. But anyway, that is my progress on these. So now. I believe, let's see how many squares I'm up to. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So I'm officially beyond the halfway mark of the goal of 30. So, and if I go ahead and finish, uh, and I will go ahead and finish that, uh, square that I started, um, I will have 17 of these and, uh, yeah, 17 full, full squares. Here's the stack just like that. And um, that means we only have 13 to go before we are going to be ready to sort of start laying it out and seeing where we're going to put things um, and how we're going to uh, put this thing together for Jordan. And I, I have to say, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he saw this last week when I was working on it. And he was like, oh, it feels so good. I said, this is going to be for you. He was like, really? So he likes cuddly things and he's very excited to get this soft, squishy blanket for himself. So anyway, that's that for that. So that's all of my squares. And I think uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in some footage here. I got some happy mail um, from, um, I think I say it in the clip, but it's from Stephanie of Stephanie's Yarn Escape and her daughter. So watch this footage and then I'll come right back. All right. Okay, guys, I am not sure when this will get uh, revealed. However, today is February 1st and I received a wonderful package from uh, Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Now we are a part of a knit night group and uh, we always uh, make each other for the last, I think this is our second year of doing um, a ornament exchange and if people want to add extra, they do. 
Um, look at this package. Let's first look at, make sure my fingernails are not too bad. Look at this very cute gnome Christmas ornament. I cannot wait to put this on my Christmas tree. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And then, uh, look at these. Uh, middle, Middlesworth barbecue flavored chips. And we're going to be excited to try those. My husband's favorite uh, chips are from uh, a place that is apparently just uh, indigenous to Chicago. <laughs> it's only in the Chicagoland area. And it's called Jay's Potato Chips. But he loves barbecue chips, so we're going to be excited to try these. Thank you, Stephanie. And then Stephanie sent us something else. So she sent me uh, the original peanut butter melt away um, by, uh, what does that say? Uh, Gardner's Candies. And this is the main reason why I went ahead and shot this video now because I want to eat this and I don't want to wait. I know other people are getting a package, so I can't really uh show it until they all get theirs but i will share mine once everybody else knows that they have theirs and then guys stephanie has a little girl whose name is carlin and carlin dies yarn okay whatever i mean she's like seven that is pretty amazing stuff and look at this colorway she made this is 100% superwash merino wool and 246 yards. It's a DK weight and the colorway is cotton candy. And isn't that the perfect name for this? And I am going to find a special pattern. And then Stephanie included one of her stitch markers as well. Let me see if I can get it to turn so you can see. Okay, there you go. One of her stitch markers as well. Oh my goodness. Carlin is super talented. Uh, very, um, her color sense is awesome. I mean, look at this. She's like seven, I think, at the most. Um, that's pretty amazing. Well, thank you so much, Carlin and Stephanie, for the wonderful, wonderful gifts. We cannot wait. Once I shut down this video, I'm definitely about to enjoy this right here. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I'll let you know on another video uh, how those tasted, but I'm expecting great things. All right, bye. Are you so excited? I was so excited to see uh, when I got that package. And needless to say, I ate up the peanut butter melt aways. We ate up the chips, but I wanted to bring over and show you kind of on this video two things from the package. So, would you just look at this yarn? I mean, look at this yarn. Guys, this was dyed by a seven-year-old. This is Carlin's, what is it called? Carlin's Color Laboratory. Can you see that? I hope that helps. I don't know if it will. But would you look at this? And there's Stephanie's um, signature uh, stitch marker hanging there. But would you look at that? Do you see right in here, like she got some speckling in there? There's color variation right here. Guys, uh, look at that. Little purple bits within the blue. I mean, are you not impressed? I'm so impressed with Carlin. She is an incredible little artist. And man, uh, guys, y'all better hope that she starts selling her yarn. <laughs> because uh this girl is talented so anyway i just wanted to show you that one in person and i wanted to like gush over it uh one more time and then i wanted to show you like the little uh the little gnome the little gnome ornament that i got from stephanie can you see the sparkle in the in the yarn very cute very well done thank you so much so that's gonna be it that's gonna be all for this episode of squared up saturday and i will see you guys tomorrow for sunday shenanigans and uh yeah just hang in there with me thank you again for spending your time with me thank you for all of my new subscribers and for all of my ride or dies i really appreciate you guys being here again you can spend your time anywhere you want to and i really appreciate that you choose to spend some of it with me all right guys i will see you 
in the next video. Until we meet again, keep it crafty. Bye.